No, I was much more pleased the second half with our defensive effort. Um, you know, Northern State made some deep shots the first half, but it was the guys that we were worried about shooting the basketball. And we're, we're a team that uh, has to take away the other team's strengths defensively if we're going to be successful. And, uh, you know, uh, Warwick and uh, uh, Avidson both got loose the first half. They made five of their eight three-point shots, and that, that should not happen. I thought we did a better job getting to them the second half. Uh, you know, and some some turnovers we don't normally have. Uh, hopefully that can be attributed to first game jitters. And, uh, you know, we missed a lot of free throws, and we've been a really good free throw shooting team in the past. So we've got plenty to work on, but it was it was good to put on the jerseys. I thought Northern State really executed uh, their offense and did what they wanted to do. They really grounded out, uh, especially in the first half, made us play long possessions defensively. Uh, and, you know, in some ways, the way that they played combined with the fact that there were a lot of free throws the first half, it, it takes us out of our flow a little bit and what we like to do in transition. So we're going to have to adjust to that uh, because obviously we like to play fast and, and play in transition. But some, some good things tonight, uh, but certainly some things we need to work on. I just thought I thought we did a really good job adjusting in the second half. You know, we gave up 35 points and a half, and then we adjusted well. And I think we gave up what 26 in the second half. But uh, I just thought we did a good job of um, regrouping at half and uh, working on, you know, just doing the little things on defense. And uh, I thought we did a much better job there. Yeah, just what Doug said, <coughs> making an adjustment at half at the beginning. I think that it was nice that we were able to come out, put a little run on them at the second half. And I think that overall it's just nice for us to all get out there again and be able to play somebody besides ourselves. Yeah, I mean it's a lot different. You know, you can't you can't use your hands at all. So uh, it's it's a tough adjustment. Uh, we just gotta. You know, we've practiced on it a lot in scrimmages. I thought I think we've done a pretty good job. Um, we just got to do much better because they're they're not going to be afraid to call that this year. So I think we just got to keep continuing to work on it, and eventually, you know, by conference play, by the these next couple games, I think we'll start to get used to it, and uh, it it won't be a problem. Yeah. Um, well, <clears throat> on our scrimmage, they brought in, we brought in some rest and they talked to us about it. They talked about positioning and you can't push it off a seal, not, <clears throat> can't have your hand in the back. I mean, and they're trying to make it what it seems like a little less physical. I'm not sure how it's going to be called, but that was just what they talked to us about. And then stu uh, some stuff on box outs. You can't do no two hands in the back, stuff like that. Uh, I don't know. It's hard to tell right now. It's too early. Yeah, tonight they definitely, um, you know, they avoid l letting guys get beat up. You know, it's it's physical down there, um, and especially the conference we're going into is going to be much more physical. So it helps guys like me and Will, who aren't quite physically gifted as some of the guys we're going to be going up against. So we're going to be able to beat them with our legs and meet them at the spot, and I think we should be able to some, get some calls there. I thought they did a good job. You know, I thought Devin came in and made some really good plays. You know, at times he tries to do too much, but you know, I think he kept it real simple tonight and made some really good passes, and um, that was really good to see. And uh, I think Isaiah Zierden um, is really going to help us out just because he can stretch the floor for us, and he doesn't make a lot of bad plays. So I think uh, that's another guy that I was really impressed with. Yeah, I feel like they're coming along nicely and. They're picking it up, and as they pick it up, it's helping us out. And like Doug s said about Devin, I mean, Devin's a playmaker. So, I mean, some of the plays he's going to make, like the pass he had to Zach on the inside with the ball fake was really, really well done. And Zach has good hands, and he's really playing well, I think. <coughs> yeah, 
Yeah, it's just tradition. Yeah. He does it. Uh, <laughs> That's, that's every what it is. every year, you know, we we hype him up the the whole week um, leading up to the game, and he always just finds a way to get it done. So, uh, you know, it's just tradition. Yeah, basically, I just told Mo that he needed to have a dunk tonight to keep it going. So, I mean, he did did his part. So it's our job. I mean, when a guy like that who gets to play plays against us every day, comes out, works hard every day, gets to have his moment like that. I mean, everybody's excited for him. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, we have enough guys returning and enough ex experience where we feel like we really can, you know, make a big splash in this new conference. And, you know, I think that'll kind of carry over into the future. So that's our priority. I mean, right now we're not even worried about conference play. We're just worried about um, these teams we got to take care of. And, you know, we didn't play our best basketball tonight, and we got to get a lot better. Um, got to get in a little <coughs> better shape and be able to crash the offensive boards a little harder. And I think. Uh, I think we'll be good to go um, by then, though. Hey, one more thing for you. All right, guys, good to go. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Appreciate it. Go ahead and get some breakfast ready. Well, we handled it better the first half than we did the second half. And that's two games in a row uh, with our that scrimmage that didn't take place against Iowa State. Uh, you know, we, we did a good job of not fouling the first half of that as well, and not as good the second half. And that's uh, we're, we're going to have to come out of the shoot a little bit better at halftime, defensively with our hands back, uh, you know, juiced up and ready to play without fouling. Because uh, as I told the team after the game, I, I think we're going to look down at the stat sheet a lot, especially in November and December, and and. Both teams are going to shoot 30-some free throws. And whoever makes the free throws is probably going to win the game, and whoever misses them is going to lose. And uh, you know, it wasn't like us to shoot them as poorly as we did tonight, and we've got to get that cleaned up. It, it helps us a little, I, I, I think, it maybe hurts other teams more than it hurts us. I think that's maybe a better way to put it um, because there are some teams that really rely on physical wrestling match, you know, ball screens, uh, you know, there's, there's, there's hands and pushing and shoving going on, and they're going to clean that up. And it was obvious tonight. And it, as you saw, I mean, there was one charge in the first half. But other than that, there was probably four or five plays that I think a year ago would have been an offensive foul that were all blocks. So – uh, you know, we just have to switch gears and, you know, when in doubt, put your head down and go. And, you know, my fear is when we play teams that do that, they're going to be really hard to guard. Uh, you know, it was good for him to put the uniform on. Uh, Obviously, there was some some jitters by the freshmen in particular. Uh, I didn't think Zach probably got off to as good a start as I had hoped, but I thought he played better the second half. Um, you know, Devin, you know, when he's in the game, something's going to happen. And the 30-foot left-handed behind the back pass, I'm not sure we'll see that one again. Uh, but it, uh, it it worked tonight. But uh, I, I thought I thought they did some good things. I thought they were able to get their feet wet, and make some plays, and get out and you know see what it's like to play in our building. Yeah, you know it's just nice to go home and watch film and just watch one team. You know, in in practice you're watching both teams, so you're you're trying to see what your offense is doing against your defense. And generally, there's a mistake one way or the other. Or things would have went better. So it's from a from a teaching standpoint, I, it, I think it's refreshing to be able to watch one team and you know show the guys some clips tomorrow that hopefully can help us move forward. No, I still think we'll get everybody's best shot because I think we've, you know, of the new teams coming into the league, we've probably gotten the most attention. And 
you know, what the other seven teams that were here before think of that, I, I don't know. But I, I think we're going to get everybody's best shot simply because our building's always going to be full. Uh, so teams are going to come in here uh, amped up and ready to play. It's fun to play in an environment like we have. Uh, so, you know, our fans are going to have to bring it every night, and I'm confident that they will. Uh, you know, it's just a, it's a process, you know, teaching him to play uh, a different way than he's ever played. You know, he's uh, more than likely he's always been one of the leading scorers on his team, taking the most shots. Uh, and now we're asking him to play a different role, to get his teammates involved and to be a playmaker. And, uh, you know, he, he's adjusting well. And, to, and I think tonight was a good step, good positive step. Uh, and, you know, we'll build on it, continue to learn from it. Uh, but you know, we we understand we understood who he was when we recruited him, uh, so you know we knew that uh, obviously he's got the ability to get into the paint and he's got unbelievable vision, uh, great vision. And now he just now we just got to get him to make the simple play. Uh, and I thought tonight, uh, compared to our scrimmage last Sunday, he did a better job of that. He just jammed his thumb. No, nothing. Thank you.